Welcome everyone to Zahid Data Mining channel. My name is Zahid Islam and today I will be presenting one of our papers. Uh, you can see the reference to the paper. The paper was authored by uh, Michael Sears and myself Zahid Islam and the title of the paper is Software Defect Prediction Using a Cost Sensitive Decision Forest and Voting. The purpose of this presentation is to introduce the paper so that a researcher or PhD students, research students can actually get a first understanding of the paper from this presentation and then can go and read the paper for better understanding. You can actually find a preprint version freely available from online. Uh, uh, of this paper so you can freely download the paper and read it if you just google my name Zahid Islam and then you can uh, find my web page if you go to the publication list of the web page on my web page and then this is at the moment uh, paper number 17 that's the paper Michael Sears and myself software defect prediction um, using cost sensitive decision forest and voting and there is a preprint version available of this paper on ResearchGate. If you go to the ResearchGate, click on that link, then you can see the paper. This is a freely downloadable paper uh, there, the preprint version of course, the original paper you can download from the journal. This paper presents a algorithm, an algorithm for building a decision forest from a cost sensitive data set so we call it cost sensitive decision forest now this is a toy data set just to uh, explain what a data set is uh, here you can see we have few variables like venue goalkeeper weather crowd and result so in this case let's assume result is the target variable we also call it class variable class attribute and there are 12 records each record in this data toy example data set is um, a record of a soccer match and this data set is maintained by a soccer club now every time they play a soccer match they uh, create a new record and they also store the result of the match so here you can see sometimes they won the match sometimes they lost the match now as you can see it is very difficult to actually come to a conclusion uh, as when or under what condition they win a match or uh, under what condition they lose a match now if we build a decision tree this decision tree may look like this from the data set a decision tree actually ex extracts knowledge information pattern or logic rules from a data set and that can actually help us to understand the pattern of a data set for example if venue is home and goalkeeper is mat they played twice and they lost both matches so it's clear that um, in uh, in home venue goalkeeper mat is not a good option uh, look, this is a toy data set only. In real life, the data set will be very big and the decision trees will make more sense. How do we build a decision tree or what are the decision tree algorithms? Please watch my other videos <coughs> on decision trees and forests. I have a YouTube channel called Zahid Data Mining Channel and there are quite a few uh, videos there and some of them are on uh, decision tree algorithms for example here you can see decision tree sys4 it explains how sys4 builds a decision forest uh, decision tree then forest sarn uh, etc and there are also few softwares freely downloadable freely use usable software for building decision trees and forests however briefly speaking a decision forest is nothing but an ensemble of decision trees if you have if you build multiple decision trees then that's it decision forest the data set that i just showed was cost insensitive that means if you make a mistake in classifying whether the team is winning a match or whether the team is losing a match 
the consequences are more or less the same but this is an example of a cost sensitive data set this is a patient database data set here every record represents a patient there are multiple variables age alcohol tobacco etc and the diagnosis is cancer or non-cancer so this is a cost sensitive classic uh, data set because if you make a mistake um, uh, in predicting or in labeling a cancer patient and you mistakenly predict or label him as non-cancer patient then the consequence can be huge as opposed to if you mistakenly label a non-cancer patient to be cancer cancerous um, then the cost is like okay the patient will go through some tests etc to understand that no actually the classification was wrong but in the other case other way around a cancerous patient may see, uh, face serious consequences because of the misclassification so this data set is cost sensitive for cost sensitive data sets we often use a term called confusion matrix we need to understand that clearly if your actual uh, class is positive and you predict positive then they call it true positive because it's a true case but if you predict it negative then it's actually false negative you are predicting negative but that's false because actually the patient was positive now in all all of these four possibilities you know the false negative can be the most uh, costly that's because um, if you if the patient is positive which is cancerous and you are predicting him to be non-cancerous then that can be uh, seriously uh, disturbing the consequence can be heavy therefore we can we generally also from uh, cost sensitive data set we create a cost matrix they call it domain cost so here the cost c means cost cost of false negative is say for example 100 whereas cost for false positive and true positive one cost for true negative that's mean he is not cancerous and you have predicted to be non cancerous is zero you just let him go so this is cost matrix and this is confusion matrix we need to understand this now i'm going to briefly explain uh, how you can build a decision forest from a cost sensitive data set using our algorithm and I'm assuming that you have seen our other videos on CIS4, on Forest CERN, on Explore so you understand the basic mechanism. Now for a cost sensitive data set we first calculate CP which is the total cost of labeling all records as positive and that is if you are labeling them positive then it can be either true positive or false positive right because you are not labeling them negative so it cannot be false negative so it's true positive or false positive so you know the cost of true positive and false positive and now you can also find out the number of records that are true positive for example here the first record is positive cancer and you are predicting it to be cancer so it's a true positive the second record however will be false positive so you can calculate how many true positives are there there are two 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 true positives records there two cancer records so you can calculate the x uh, the cost for positive labeling and similarly you can calculate the cost for negative labeling after that you can calculate the expected cost using this equation which is a geometric mean of the two costs and that is the expected cost of this whole data set so it's kind of like the entropy of the whole data set for non cost sensitive data set right so in cost sensitive data set we in instead of calculating entropy we calculate the expected cost after that we now need to see how much expected cost can be reduced if i choose age or alcohol or tobacco these individual attributes one by one and finally the attribute that reduces the expected expected cost most heavily will be chosen as the root attribute of your first decision tree now how do we do that so we actually say for example we are trying to find out the expected cost but for the attribute alcohol so what we do we first rearrange the whole data set based on the values of alcohol so high moderate low and no so all records have been rearranged uh, where all high records are together and now we actually calculate the expected cost for choosing this attribute alcohol as the root attribute 
we can do that by using an equation like this this is the expected cost if attribute a in this case alcohol is chosen and then we calculate cpi times cni cpi is the there are four one two three four groups right high mid moderate low and no so cpi first time will be just the high record so you calculate the cost of positive leveling of this group cost of negative leveling of the same group and you compute this then you compute the same thing for the moderate group low group and no group and that's how you finally calculate the expected cost for the attribute a cpi cni etc can be calculated like this please read the paper for better understanding and also after that we can cal calculate how much cost expected cost can be reduced if we choose attribute alcohol as the root attribute after that we build we choose the best root attribute as the root attribute and build a decision tree and we also rank all other attributes in terms of their expected cost reduction the more the better and then as usual like sys4 we just follow similar kind of structure so the first time we build a decision tree using the best root attribute second time we use a decision tree using the second best root attribute and so on and so forth and once we run out of the number of good attributes for the root attribute then we go to the second level of the decision tree and then we do the same thing for each of the trees at the second level to produce more decision trees so this mechanism is very similar to the sys4 mechanism so please see the video for the sys4 for algorithm for better understanding once the cost sensitive decision forest is created so for example we have three trees in a forest and this is cost sensitive now you say for example have a new record which is initially unlabeled but you know the ground truth this is a cancer patient now you want to uh, uh, predict or classify or let um, this this uh, record right now for that as usual you need a voting technique so I'm explaining now what is the voting technique for CS forest uh, decision forest algorithm here say for example this is your new record you this record will fall in only one leaf of each of these trees so let's say these red leaves are the leaves where this record falls in and then we calculate so this is the set of the leaves that we have and we calculate the cost of positive labeling of this record for each of these leaves and we sum that up and similarly we calculate the cost of negative labeling for this record um, uh, in each of these leaves and then sum that up so once we sum up these two costs then we check whether the cost of positive labeling is lower than cost of negative labeling or not if the cost is lower than negative labeling then we call it positive if the cost of negative labeling is lower then we call it negative so if it is positive then we predict the class to be cancer if it is negative then we predict the class to be non-cancer so this is how we can have a cost sensitive voting now in the paper we have run a lot of experiments a thorough experimentation and some results have been presented here is a uh, tabular presentation of the main results and here you can see cs forest with cs voting this is the cost and you can see that generally the cost of cs forest with cs voting is always lower than the other uh, techniques that we tested with for these few data sets so it look, looks like the result is very promising and um, uh, it achieves quite a good uh, labeling uh, for cost sensitive data sets and as i have said already so this paper can be freely downloadable from my web page there is a link on researchgate and on the researchgate you can see the full paper and the paper actually has got a reasonably good number of citation it was published only in 2015 but it has already received 42 number of citations so this looks like a promising technique i hope this presentation will be helpful to PhD students, coursework, data science students, any uh, researchers, colleagues, etc. And please feel free to email me if you have any uh, questions. So this, this technique is also freely available uh, online uh, from Weka. 
you can download this uh, Weka we will be soon uploading this in Weka so you can download the software and can use it thanks for watching